The last question from Phantom Neutrino. The difference right. between a mythology and a religion is time. Ancient religions are called mythologies, while contemporary mythologies are called religions. Religion is a product of the infancy of the species. It's well past time that we grow up and, quote, put away childish things. Do you think there will come a day, and then they put a song in there, do you think there will come a day when we shall refer to Judeo-Christianity and Islam as mythologies rather than religions? Um, uh, I think a lot of people already do. Okay. Um, I think, um, I mean, this is fun and all, but mythology is the part of religion that is about this, the stories, right? So it's not like, for example, people do talk about Islamic mythology and Christian mythology and Jewish mythology today, okay? And when we talk about Islamic mythology, so I don't think it's like, mythology versus religion that the religion is what we have today mythology is what we have before okay it's, i don't think that's not how it works um i mean that that's fun to meme and all but if you want to think about it more accurately when we say islamic mythology we're talking about the creation story in islam we're talking about the jinns we're talking about the role of the devil right but Sus, you, you, like we're saying like we already do right but we're not talking Sharia, for example. When we say Islamic mythology, the Sharia part of Islam, or like, like inheritance law within Islam, and that's not part of Islamic mythology. The mythology is the story part. And there's, unfortunately, there's not much Islamic mythology because mythology is fun, right? Um, like Christian mythology, when we talk, there's a lot of Christian mythology, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of Jewish mythology. But the, I, I don't know, like the part of Christianity that says women should shut the hell up. That's not part of Christian mythology, right? That's not Christian mythology. The mythology part, like Book of Revelation has like a lot of mythology, right? But, and also I don't think like, we, I don't think, I don't think it's childish. I like mythology. If that's childish, then I'm going to be childish. Like, I don't understand. I like he, we can have- I think this person is speaking to the belief in those mythologies. Yes. Yeah, but, but I know, but I think like, I just want to make sure that we're not completely dismissive of mythologies as a source of culture and entertainment and, you know, symbolism and art, you know, so as long as you don't believe in them, you don't have to put aside mythology as if it's childish things that, you know, people other than children enjoy stories, <laughs> right? Story time is not just for kids. I mean, if, <laughs> if it's, if it is, then I, I rather be childish. I, I want to be child if it is so, because I like stories. I mean, everybody likes stories. I mean, it's meant, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, uh -huh. there we go. Ben is saying Muhammad splitting the moon in half is pretty mythological. Exactly. I like the exactly. story oh. of Barack. Yes. Oh, yeah. But actually, I was going to a... say, I feel yeah. like Shia's or the story of Karbala is like a ah, lot of mythology. You're right. Like, what are you talking about? There's a ton of mythology. <laughs> Shias have more mythology than uh, Sunnis. You're right. Actually, you actually you that's such a good point because well i'm a shia you, so i would know yes. <laughs> of course you would bring that of course you would bring that up <laughs> I, would, I have to bring up carabola come on this month okay. come on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah wow but actually, that's a very good point because Muhammad's story as well could be mythology, right? Because we don't know how much of it. I mean, we kind of know that most of it uh, did not happen, right? Um, so that's also actually you're right. Like all of the battles of Muhammad, all of the conversations he had, the entire hadith collection could be. So I take that back. You corrected me. You corrected me. Like I was saying that there's not much Islamic mythology. It might have more than every other Abrahamic faith. And, I, yeah, I actually, you're right. It might actually have more than every single every single other Abrahamic faith. Yeah, well, Susanna corrected me on Islam. Uh, <laughs> that's what I say. Yo, Hussein. <laughs> Yo, Hussein. <laughs> All right. 
Happy uh, Muharram to everyone. <laughs> happy Muharram. Happy. Yeah, no, happy. There's, <laughs> there's, there's no. Give me a Shia card. Give me a Shia <laughs> That's card. <the> joke. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.